Okay, hi everybody. Awesome. Okay, this is the craziest thing. Seven minutes. Okay, so what I would like to share with you this evening is what I have learned about women from teaching belly fit, of course, as it relates to the seven energy centers of the body. So we start at Muladhara. This is our root. It's all about security and safety. And what I know about women is that they are all amazing, without exception. What I know about women who move their body regularly in a way that activates their base is that they are truly extraordinary. When we move our body in a way that honors the feminine with bounce and jiggle and juiciness, <laughs> I see women feeling more safe and secure because they're tapping into their roots. They're connecting to their foundation. They're feeling way happier. They're letting loose and they're celebrating life. They're moving energy through this area of the body and literally feeling blissed out. Moving on to Svaristana. This is our sweetness. This is all about creativity, sensuality, and pleasure. And yet, women are given so many conflicting messages about this area of the body. It's round, but it should be flat. It's soft, but it should be hard. It changes, but it should conform. The female body is made of curves. A woman's belly and hips are her most sacred feminine aspect. And when we move in a fluid, circular, feminine way, I see women reclaiming and redefining this area of the body. I see them feeling pleasure in their own flesh and understanding what it means to be a beautiful, sacred, feminine goddess. I see them loving themselves and redefining themselves. It's beautiful and it flows. Moving on to Manipura, the lustrous gem. This is all about our personal power. It's our social identity. It's how we show up in the world. It's all about action and fire. And honestly, most of the women that come to my classes and my training courses are fully empowered in this area. They are following their dreams. They're putting themselves out there. They're showing the world what they're made of and they're wearing 10 different hats while they do it. They are so on fire with a passion for life, they are so determined to achieve their goals, that they are literally burning themselves out with adrenal fatigue and stress. So when we circulate energy through this area of the body, when we move the fire of Manipura, we allow ourselves to come into stillness. We find space and we receive the fruits of our labor. We allow ourselves to cool the fires of our passion and be present in the moment. Anahata, to be unstuck. I think you will all agree with me that there is a revolution happening on this planet right now. We are moving from fear into love. And I know I'm just a little bit biased, but I do believe that women have a very important role in this revolution. And they have a lot of work to do. And a lot of that work is right here. I see so many women holding a tremendous amount of pain and grief and sadness in their bodies. Not this woman, but a lot of women. <laughs> but they are ready to heal. They are ready to reach out. They're ready to open up, connect. They're ready to forgive and find compassion. And as they do this, these emotions become unstuck and they're transformed into joy and celebration. Moving on to Vishuddha. This is purification through expression of truth. And what I know to be true is that women on this planet are ready to be heard. They are ready to speak their truth. They are ready to tell their story. They're ready to tell her story. And what I know also is that every page of a woman's story is written in her flesh. And when she dances, she tells her story. Her hips, her shoulders, her arms, her wrists, they all have something to say, even her battle cry. And over time, she clears energy, she heals wounds, and she gets to rewrite her story. She gets to recreate herself over and over and over again. 
This woman is definitely recreating her story. <laughs> Moving on to Ajna. To see and to know. This is all about intuition and insight. And I now understand that the voice of the soul, our intuition, actually comes to us through the body. But so many women are so disconnected from their intuition because they are disconnected from their body. So when we move, we reconnect to the voice of our soul. We start to hear its messages. We start to hear its wisdom. And eventually, we surrender our ego, and we learn to trust that voice. We find a flow in our life, an ease, that brings more abundance, more freedom, and more understanding. And finally, moving on, to Sahasrara, the thousand-petaled lotus, opening up to divine wisdom, universal consciousness. When we move our body, as we're all going to do this weekend, we have an opportunity to either layer on more inauthenticity or remove inauthenticity. When I witness women moving their bodies in a feminine, sacred, reverent way, I see layers of inauthenticity melt away. I see them honoring their own divinity and the divinity of the women around them from a place of authenticity vulnerability, and joy. I see them invoke Shakti. I see them call on Shiva. I see them embody the divine feminine in all its grace and glory. I see a revival of the goddess, and it is good. Namaste.